Hey, welcome to Bio 111. Exciting stuff. Uh, okay, we're going to start with chapter one, talking about basics, and it's a very easy chapter. Hey, welcome to Bio 111. So we're going to start chapter one. And chapter one is going to be pretty easy compared to all of the other chapters that we're going to be doing later in the semester. So just an easy way to get you going and, you know, get you back into the swing of things. I do apologize if you hear dogs barking in the background. Those are definitely mine. Okay, so we're going to start out and we're just basically going to be looking at these notes that um, I've got here that um, hopefully you've printed out and just kind of go through these and then if you have any questions you can ask them in class um, when I see you next. So first of all you should probably understand that Bio 111 is um, called Biology 111 and biology literally means science of life. And so that's what we're going to be studying is living things, what makes them work, why your cells act the way they do. And I kind of think of this class as like an owner's manual for your cells. And everybody has them. Everyone should understand how they work. And this can help you a lot. This can help you be more of an important citizen and understanding just basic stuff. It can also help you to be a better patient when you go to the doctor and the doctor's telling you all these crazy things. You can kind of understand what's going on. Okay, enough of that. Um, so when we organize all these living things, and I'm just going to kind of follow along with the mouse, um, we do it in a hierarchical type of way. And what that means is we can organize things from smallest or most specific to the largest group or the least specific. So you can see we start out with atoms, which is the smallest particle, and then molecules are a little bit bigger, and those form macromolecules and so on. Now in this class, we're only going to go up to the cell level. Um, and then in Bio 112, which I teach, so hopefully you'll take it, um, then you go on to all of these other things about the communities and ecosystems and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got four things that anything that's living is going to have in common. And so we call those the core things of biology. First one is the chemical basis of life. So we're going to spend a pretty good amount of time on chemistry. And the reason for that is because we're all made of chemicals of some sort. So everybody's made up of atoms. And the way those atoms act is going to affect how water behaves in our body or like all sorts of things that you may not have even thought about. So um, that's going to be the first. The second thing that all living things have in common is cells. So anything that's living is going to be composed of at least one or more cells. And if it's made of one cell, we call that unicellular. And if it's made of two cells, we call it multicellular. Two cells or more, I should say. All right, so that's the second thing. Third thing, the genetic basis of life. So what that means is that anything that's living has DNA. That's something that we all are going to have in common. And as you'll see later when we get into the DNA stuff um, a little bit deeper, you're going to actually see that we all share the same genetic code. Whether you're a bacteria, whether you're a plant, whether you're an animal, whatever it is, we all have that same basic genetic code. So if you think about it, that's a really good argument for evolution. Um, and then speaking of that, there's our last one, the unity and diversity of life. And that has to do with the fact that anything that's living right now has evolved at some point in time. Um, so if we want to talk a little bit more in depth about what evolution is, technically, if you say evolution, that really just means change. Um, so we could say that my waistline evolved over the Christmas break, right? Um, it really did, and what that means is my waistline changed. Unfortunately, it got a little bigger, but that's okay. So that's going to be um, evolution in the most basic form. Now, when we talk about it in biology, what we're talking about is how organisms are getting exposed to changing environments and how they adapt to live on those environments. And so that's what biological evolution is talking about. There's that key term you may have heard of called survival of the fittest, and that's what that's talking about. Um, so Charles Darwin is going to be known as the father of evolution, and he's the one that kind of came up with all of these theories and started coming up with ideas about evolution and natural selection. So those are going to be the four key themes that unite biology. Chemical basis of life, meaning we're all made of atoms. Cellular, we're all made of cells. Genetic, we all have DNA. And the unity and diversity of life means we've all evolved at some point in time. Okay. So the next little part here is talking about how science works 
And um, I'm actually going to stop here, and then you can sign up for the next video so we don't have you going too long.